right, we've arrived at the Beacon Restaurant. We're gonna go have some food and drinks on the beach here at Camp Richardson. It is amazing. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. Day one, Lake Tahoe. We got here last night and uh, now we're, we're settled in and we have made it over to Camp Richardson. It's our kind of our first in touch personal view of the lake. Yep. Uh, this is a, a spot we came to a couple of years ago during the situation when it was a lot less occupied and now it's in full swing and we're so glad to be back. We got a table right on the beach. Check it out. It's our first look at the water. We sat pretty close to this last time, yeah. Although last time that we were here, it was uh, kind of in the heart of the situation and there was nobody around. It was pretty desolate, so it's good to see it in full order. Everybody on the beach, look at all the boats and people on the dock. This is awesome. Got some goose on the beach. Some geese, I should say. There's two of them. <laughs> Talk to me, goose. So awesome to be back here. I know, and it's really nice, like I said, to be back when it's in 100% like operation. Yeah. Yeah, with yeah. everybody around. Like, it definitely feels you know like it should yeah you know some people would go oh it's so crowded but it's like it's nice all right so one of the things that they're famous for here that i've had before is the rum runner and it was funny because some of you commented uh that hey you should get a rum runner over there i'm like oh no i know <laughs> no no uh, i know, you but, know but thank you for mentioning that because you know you never know you no know spencer you know um, me, and, and what if I hadn't tried one and they didn't know? Uh, it would, you yeah, you kind of steer me in the right direction, so you thankfully. Have to know. Yeah. Also, though, they're famous for their calamari. I almost, I think I smell calamari right now, like some fried calamari. Yeah, I think you'll probably get that. We had that last time, too. Did right? we? I feel like we did. I don't remember getting it. Because I'm not a big calamari guy, but. I think I tried it last time I was here. I have a vague memory of that. I don't know if it's true. But. I, don't, I don't remember getting it. And real quick, if you're not subscribed to our channel, be sure to take a second to do that real quick because, I mean, we got a, the rest of the trip here and we always have fun adventures going on. We'd love to have you join the Blab family. So I know it looks like we got the same thing, but Katie got an Arnold Palmer yes. because she doesn't drink. But I, on the other hand, do, and I got the Rum Runner. They are famous for their Rum Runner here. I've had it before. It's been a long time. You can see it's kind of like slurpy style. Yeah. It's, it's frozen. And look at the float on top. That's rum, folks. <laughs> Talk to Jack Sparrow about that. He'll tell you. Cheers, Katie. We have arrived. To South Lake Tahoe. I'm going to sip off the top. <laughs> Woo! Hello. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Better mix that up a little bit. It's got like a sweet uh, vibe going to it. Whatever the, um, whatever the slushy part is. Yeah, that's sweet. It's very... Uh, Yummy tropical. All right, the food has arrived. Uh, I got some carne asada tacos that look pretty hearty. Katie got uh, an Asian chicken salad, I believe. Yep. Looks pretty good. I know. I'm so hungry. I know. Can't wait to eat it. Gets the Katie thumbs up. Mm -hmm. All right. Little green salsa. Oh yeah, that is good carne asada. Mm -hmm. Green sauce has a little spice to it too, which I like. Just a little bit, not not major, but it's sweet with a little spice to it. So good. You're gonna want a bite of this. Mm. That's good. No and joke. You, and you almost didn't get that. I almost didn't get it. I almost got a chicken quesadilla. Which would have been good. Which but I'm sure would have been bomb. I'm sure this is better for sure. But I haven't had carne tacos in a little while, so perfect. All right, Katie. So that food was amazing. Mm. Uh, so good. The Perfect views day. are stellar. Look at this. It's fabulous. It's exactly what we came for. It is. It's exactly what we came for, what we wanted. Yep. I just love it so much. I'm so happy. And we have so, so many plans. Here's the thing. This is day one. Yeah, right? we're... <laughs> um, this is what we always do. Even in Las Vegas, we're like, oh, we have all these things we want to do, and then we don't get to half of them. So I hope, I hope yep. that we get at least... At least if we got 50% of them done, normally we bat like uh, about 10%. Right. We get 10% of the things that we want to do. Um, you know, I'm okay with leaving some things because then that gives you even more reason to come back. But right. we'll see. <laughs> We're hoping because day one is already it's killer. Already and this is just the beginning of day one. Yes. Even though it's the afternoon, it's the beginning of day one. As far as the vlog is concerned, we have a lot, a lot more things to do. Oh, yeah.
right, time to head out. The meal was amazing. I think we're gonna take a little walk on the beach and you can leave right from the restaurant to the beach. Ooh, I'm excited. Touch the, wa touch the Tahoe water. Yeah, I wonder how cold it is. Um, I feel like it'll be pretty cold, but... Relatively speaking. I'm nervous, like, because I know it's gonna be cold, the, but the ocean like... water, which we haven't touched ocean water in quite no, a while. it's been a bit. But it's about 68 now. Right. Uh, at least in like Newport. It'll be cold. So I'm, I'm sure wondering what it'll be. What it's gonna be. Yeah. Well we'll find out. But that place is so cool because look it's like yeah. right here. It's great. Uh, and then you can just walk yeah. right out. Spencer is removing his uh, sandals. He wants the sand between his toes. That's why you have a carabiner. <laughs> It's about functionality, Katie. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm pretty excited too. We hit the beach. We just saw uh, a friend of ours who watches the channel named yeah, Melissa. Yeah, isn't that cool? Uh, thank you, Melissa, for the uh, for all the love. And she had recommended we come to Camp Richardson, ironically. To, yeah, uh, to the beacon. Even though we knew we were coming here, but she suggested and said, hey, you gotta have a rum runner. I'm like, I know! And so it was cool, we just ran into her, so that was go awesome. Go figure. Thank you, Melissa. Let's go. Uh, Let's go to the, the water. water. I am so excited. First time touching Tahoe water since 2020. As you know, last year was unfortunately not our year. I love the sand here is a lot coarser than yes. beach sand. Yes. Because it doesn't have when we were little, a we lot used of waves to, um, breaking it down. When we were little and we would come for like, you know, our two week vacation or whatever it was, we would, uh, you know, like take a, what, you know, those big old things of like animal crackers or like cheese balls. Yeah. And then at the end of the trip, fill them up with sand and then fill it up with water and sand. Tahoe sand, there ain't nothing like it. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Katie loves that sound of the water lapping onto the shoreline. I love it. And it, see how it kind of shimmers? Oh, it's perfect. I'm so happy right now. Oh, it's nice. It's glittery. It's really nice, actually. It's not like super cold, right? Yeah, it's fabulous. It's almost like what the ocean would be uh, right now. Oh, it's so nice. Look at this. You see the little like gold blood? Yeah. The sparkles? Yeah, you can see the... As if Tahoe wasn't beautiful enough. Yeah. Then you have to go and have this beautiful crystal clear water. So nice. It ain't right how pretty this is. It's just too gorgeous. Look at the little pedal boat right there. And then there's one of our goose friends. He's taking a little dip. Mr. Seagull, you're pretty far from the ocean, buddy. It's going back in. See you, buddy. Okay, we're now gonna take a walk through the forest here. Well, kind of the forest. In the campground. In the campground of Camp Richardson. Yep. Look at the sun coming through the trees up there. My favorite shot. I love that. So, so many people recommended that we go to get ice cream at Camp Richardson. So, <laughs> it's just. I, do it's, you think I'm gonna turn down ice cream? It's right down here at the end of this it's little road. Yonder. Yeah, just it's down here. yonder. So we're gonna wander over there. Wander I yonder. There, I think there's a little store and stuff too. I don't know, yeah. I've never seen the front there. There's a cool general store right here. Look at this. The ice cream is right across the street. Yeah, and when we first got here, there was a line all the way out. There was, now it's uh, now it's chill. Look at it. Ah, the old ice cream parlor. Oh, the light just went on. Richardson Ice Cream Parlor, Katie's. Been wanting to come here for quite some time. I'm an ice cream fiend. I had no idea. Love ice cream. Oh yeah, you can smell it. I like that they have the soda shop uh, stools yeah, that's as great. well, old school. All right, so it's worth noting, they got a baby scoop, a one, a two, a three, a milkshake, and some floats. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at that, that is massive. This is a mountain. There's no They're not skimping over here. I thought it was like a scoop. Well, you that's, heard, our, is... our friend Melissa told us. And I thought, no way, this is three scoops for each scoop. That's amazing. You realize that? Can you handle it? No way, but I'm gonna try. Thank you. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, that is 
That is massive. Look at this. It's literally three or no, it's four scoops. So that's Rocky Road and what Butter else? Butter pecan. They were out of chocolate and mint chip, which was what I wanted, but <laughs> oh, there's no way. No way. That's a way to kick off uh, the Tahoe trip for We've sure. We've been on a bit of an ice cream kick lately. <laughs> yeah, it's well, called the summer of ice cream. That's true. I always require a spoon for my shakes. If it's a good shake, you need a spoon, really. Mm -hmm. All right, we came over to Cave Rock, one of the best spots to watch a sunset at Lake Tahoe. We're gonna head out the little 0.9 mile trail and go check it out. Yeah, you can tell this is gonna be a good view when you come out here. Even this is a good view. Yeah, look at that. Of that rock. Yeah, and it says the sun sets in about an hour. So we got some time. Yeah, it says 8.30 is when sunset is and it's about 7.30 right now. But it's, the parking lot here is very small. Yeah, it's like probably five to 10 cars. Yeah, maybe. and then there's some street parking, which is also very limited. So that's why we got here a little bit early, just to secure a spot. And I did see some people walking up the hill, so I guess you could park down the hill and walk up extends your hike just a little bit. All right, there's our destination. We just have a little bit of trail left and hook around to the left and out there. Then we have to climb up the rock. And we gotta go up the rock. Oof. The sun is already shrouded behind it there. The elevation is getting me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, huh? Oh. Your girl needs to get used to it. And if you didn't know, there's a tunnel that goes through this rock on the highway, kind of right below us right there. And we'll go through that tunnel on the way to Sand Harbor. So you'll see it, yeah. This is a good vantage up here, I'll tell you. There's that side towards Sand Harbor, and then back towards South Lake over there. All right, so up top here is, uh, you know, it's not a huge area, but you can definitely mount and go around and find a spot. Mm -hmm. But definitely, definitely be careful and sure-footed because <laughs> just over the edge there, it just, mm -hmm. see you bye-bye, yeah. So as long as you're careful, Make sure you watch your step, right, Katie? Yeah, and wear good shoes. Yeah. Um, solid shoes because we have our like Hoka walking shoes on. Yeah. Can't say I'd recommend that. <laughs> and uh, if you're afraid of heights, consider. Don't go to that. Yeah, don't go to that. That's a scary that. corner over there. Yeah. That, that just goes. That's, that's the one that. There's that. no rail. No. There's no railing, yeah. No, rail. <laughs> no safety rail. But if you look back towards South Lake, it's a beautiful view with the, with the lighting right now and all the little coves, and we await the sunset.
right, Katie's making a move I to know. the edge. Look at her. She's overcoming her fear. Okay, we're back at the hotel. What an amazing first day back in Lake Tahoe. We had a blast. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. A big thank you to our Patreons who support this channel. We appreciate you guys so much. Leave us a comment. Give us a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. For Katie and myself, we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.